Hi guys, this is just going to be a very quick intro before we get into what is my first ever cooking video. I've done a couple of food related based kind of videos previously, but this is the first time I've ever tried filming something I was cooking, which was harder than it sounded and I picked a really, really easy recipe. Um, the recipe you're going to see is called Casareccia Pola Picante, which is basically spicy chicken pasta. It's probably the best way to describe it. Um, it was something that I've eaten in ZZ's before now and they posted the recipe on their Facebook page and I've kind of tweaked it just a little bit just to, you know, to my taste. Um, it's really, really easy. It's a good, you know, weeknight, throw it together in half an hour kind of meal. What I will say, big disclaimer right now, is that I cook by eye and by taste as much as by measurements which is why I'm a horrible baker. I don't bake well at all because baking is science and you need exact measurements of everything in order for it to work whereas when you cook you can chuck a bit of this in, chuck a bit of that in and it's all fine. Um, so there is just a little bit of that with this recipe and so you might need to you know I've kind of given rough measurements where I can but you'll need to taste it and you'll need to tweak it just to get it to kind of a place that you're happy with it I think but it's it's such an easy dish that I don't think that'll be a problem for even even a beginner cook I think can do this one it's it is super easy so keep on watching okay so your ingredients you will need chicken breasts some sort of seasoning for your chicken breast depending on what you like to use I use this Schwartz perfect shake garlic Italian stuff um, some olive oil you will need some chili paste which you could probably make yourself by you know blitzing some chilies in a food processor I just like to buy the ready done stuff some double or oh, I guess you guys in the US would call it heavy cream this is 50% uh, less fat double cream so like half fat heavy cream if you can find that you will need um, casareccia which is the pasta some tomato puree spinach and cherry tomatoes. So that's it. I am a little bit hazy on quantities just in terms of what I use because I'm one of those cooks who kind of just throws things in a pan and kind of uses a recipe as like a framework and then goes from there. So I will try as much as possible to give you measurements. Otherwise it's a really simple dish. Um, it's a really good kind of quick easy chuck everything in a pan dish. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so stage one, what you want to do is you uh, you want to get your chicken breasts seasoned, ready to go. So here I have the three chicken breasts. One of them, this one in the middle, it's a weird shape. I butterflied out because it seemed to be like twice as thick as all of the others. Then what I've done is I have drizzled it with olive oil and then kind of given a good shake of this seasoning. And what I'm going to do is just put this in the oven to just to bake really for probably about 25 minutes. It, it won't need that long. Depending on how you like to do things, you can actually, you know, slice the chicken up or, um, you know, kind of cube it and then fry it at the same time as you're making the sauce and that kind of thing. I just find that it's easier if you cook the chicken first and then kind of tear it into chunks um, and then put it into the sauce rather than cooking it as part of the sauce. I also find that it means I'll probably have a spare chicken breast left that I can, you know, keep to one side for something else. So this is stage one. So this is going to go into the oven. Right, so the chicken is cooked, as you can see, if this would focus properly. So first of all, I am going to chop that and throw that into a pan and heat it through. Okay, so now we've got a pan here with um, just a little bit of olive oil in just to heat it through, and I'm going to add the chicken. Okay, so you just really want to heat the chicken through. It's just been sat for a while since I cooked it. If you just cooked it in the oven, you can put it straight into the pan and that's fine. Okay, so once the chicken's had a minute or so just to heat through, from here everything kind of goes fairly quickly. So, you need about a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a bit of tomato puree. Which 
I'm going to half heartedly mix in and then a tablespoon of chilli paste and just another kind of stir that round and let the chicken kind of cook in it Now you need um, about 150 ml of cream. It may actually be more than that, but I do this by eye, so we'll see. Yeah, that's probably closer to 200 ml of cream, but you can kind of get an idea once you stir it in as to what consistency you want the sauce to be and bear in mind that this needs to coat the pasta as well so that's it try and avoid letting the cream completely boil because it might split and that's not yum and then from there we are going to add in the pasta which I have already cooked and left sitting so it's kind of gone a bit sticky together but that's okay we can fix that or not, we can just make a really big mess. Okay, so stir that through the sauce. Again, the pasta's probably gonna need heating through a bit as well. And then the last two things are a couple of handfuls of spinach, which you'll need to let wilt down, which will take a few minutes and some, some cherry tomatoes which are optional I don't really like them but I'm cooking for someone who does so I'm putting them in So I hope you enjoyed that. If it is something that you make, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. And now I'm going to eat. And that was it. That was Casareccia Polo Picante. Like I said, really easy, really yummy, um, nice with kind of, you know, salad and bread and all that kind of stuff. But it's a really nice, quick, easy, you know, weekend, weekend, weeknight or weekend, I guess. Eat it any time. All the pasta, all the chicken, any time. Um, I'm a big carb fiend, so it's, you know, it's exactly the kind of thing that I love to have. Um, but if you make it, I definitely want to know. Leave me a comment below and, and let me know if you've tried it. I know there are other recipes for this floating around on the internet that do slightly different things with the chicken. Cook it in, you know, different seasonings. And that's, you know, that's the really cool thing about this dish is you can kind of tweak it as, you know, as you please to get it to be what you like but like I said leave me a comment if you try it and I'll be back very soon with a what do I have stationery haul and an empties coming up so stay tuned for those thanks for watching take care bye <laughs>